Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to share our monthly grocery haul with you guys. So we just got back from Costco and unloaded everything. I will say we definitely got more than what we had planned on, but we were able to still stick to our budget, which is the most important part. So I'm gonna show you everything we got from Costco and then we're gonna go to Fry's or possibly just do Walmart grocery pickup for everything else we need. We don't really need a ton of stuff um, from Fry's. And if you guys missed my meal plan, I posted that yesterday and shared my grocery list and everything like that with you guys um, on that video. So definitely check that out if you are interested. But I'm gonna flip you around, show you everything we got, and then show you our totals um, for our grocery haul today. Okay, so let's start off here. You gotta love the train <laughs> of everything. But um, to start off with, we got a variety pack of the Ziploc bags. We were running low on Ziploc bags, so we went ahead and stocked up on those. And this came out of our household budget. Um, the toilet paper down there also came out of our household budget. So just keep that in mind. And then my husband spotted these new uh, sweet potato chips and the ingredients are really good. So we decided to give those a try for snacks. We picked up more pretzels. We were running low on pretzels. We picked up a chicken pot pie. Um, this is gonna be one of our convenience meals that we have um, while my husband's on bonding leave and I'm on maternity leave and we've got a newborn and we just need quick and simple. Um, we thought this would be a really good option with lots of leftovers. So we're just gonna pop that in the deep freezer and pull it out when we're ready to make it. And then my husband picked up these uh, lentils, which I've heard really, really good things about. Um, that'll just be a really good, like quick meal for him. And then I got these peach cups because my daughter, um, her school, the parents are responsible for snacks once a month and they requested peaches and sun chips, which we are going to get from Kroger or from Walmart, but we had to get enough to provide for 14 kids and two adults. So we went ahead and got them in bulk at Costco. These crackers were on sale. I've heard really, really good things about these crackers. So we went ahead and picked up two boxes of those. We've been really enjoying crackers and cheese and meat, kind of like homemade Lunchables. So got two boxes. We also got our favorite hash browns. Uh, and then we picked up some dried cherries to mix with like nuts and stuff for um, like a homemade trail mix. We picked up five dozen eggs as per usual. We picked up some egg whites. These are all staples. Almond milk is a staple. My daughter was out of nuggets, so we picked up more of those. Also got some dried blueberries to mix in with our trail mix. And then per my daughter's request, she really loves these yogurts um, and she actually likes eating them out of the freezer. She calls it her frozen yogurt. So um, she ate her last tube this morning and really wanted more. So we picked up some of those for her. And then some salami to have with cheese and crackers. Some more butter, because we only had about half a bar left in the fridge. Some Greek yogurt. Um, I use Greek yogurt to make pancakes. I use it as a sour cream substitute. You can also use it to make pizza dough. Uh, it's very versatile. I love it. So we picked up a tub of that because we were out. And then we also picked up some broccoli florets to have on the sides with dinners. My husband really wanted to try this frozen fruit blend for smoothies. It's pears, peaches, pineapples, and blueberries, which sounds really good right now. And then we got two of these variety packs of the cheese. And that is um, to have with cheese and crackers. So we got two of those. We'll, pop, we'll put one in the deep freezer and then one in the fridge and eat through that. This looked really good. Um, it's a root medley of beets, pars parsnips, <laughs> purple carrots, and sweet potatoes. And so we got that to have on the side with dinners. We picked up some more shrimp, totally out of shrimp. We also got more of our favorite turkey meatballs. And then we've got some um, maple syrup. We totally ran out of maple syrup last month and we've got a ton of like frozen waffles <laughs> and stuff like that left. So we'll be able to eat those up now. And then we've got the um, hummus cups. I seriously am obsessed with these hummus cups. They are delicious. So we picked up more of those. 
we were pretty much all out of honey, so we got some more honey. And then we picked up more turkey breast, um, especially because we're, we're going to be having more like cheese and crackers and things like that. So we already had one of these in the deep freezer, and then we decided to go ahead and pick up a second one um, just to make sure we have plenty to last us for the whole month. And then I picked up some chocolate chips. Um, these, these are such a, such a great deal at Costco. It's like $9 for this giant, giant bag of them. Um, and I'm going to use these actually to make energy balls, homemade energy balls. So yeah, got that. And then I, it was kind of funny. I saw pistachios at, at Costco and pregnancy cravings like massively struck and I had to have them. So I picked up some pistachios. And then my husband heard some really good things about this um, tuna. So we got him some tuna to have with crackers as well. And then we've got this convenience meal here, um, which is a chicken marsala uh, convenience meal. And we've got like egg noodles and tons of other pasta options in our pantry right now. So we thought that'd be a good pairing for that. So that is everything that we picked up from Costco. Lots and lots of goodies. And now as far as our total is concerned, we spent a total of $355.89. Um, 30 of that was for household items for the uh, Ziploc bags and the toilet paper. So as of right now, we have, I think 24, oops. yeah, we have 24, 20, and then 21, 22, 23, 24 left in our grocery budget. That's going to go towards what we get from fries. Um, and then we'll use our either miscellaneous or some of our grocery pickup money to kind of make up for the rest. We don't honestly have to get a whole ton of stuff um, produce wise or from fries. So we just decided to spend more at Costco. As long as we stick to our overall budget, we're fine. Um, and then we have $30 left in household and I'll be taking out another 60 halfway through the month. So we're looking really good there. So yeah, that's pretty much everything from Costco. Uh, and then I will show you guys everything that we pick up from either grocery pickup or fries. We haven't decided where we're going yet. <laughs> um, in just a second. All right, so we just got back from Fry's for the rest of our monthly grocery haul. So I'm gonna walk you through everything we got and then we'll figure out the totals and all that good stuff at the end. So starting over here, we got some household items. We got some floss picks for my husband and I, um, some raspberry leaf tea. I am hoping that this will get things going with labor. We are in our final countdown. Um, as I'm filming this, we've got five days until my scheduled C-section. So I'm gonna drink this like crazy. And then a midwife told me about evening primrose oil. So I'm gonna give that a try. And then I thought that these were buy one, get one free. So I got melatonin, but I'm actually gonna return that because they actually charged us for, um, for both of them. So we're gonna return that. But, um, and then we jump into the food products. So we got some sour cream. We got four things of the strawberry Siggy's yogurt. Um, this is my personal favorite yogurt. And then we've got four cans of the lentil vegetable soup. This is the soup that we like to use. We just throw some frozen meatballs in it and then top it with like a little bit of cheese and it's a super easy and pretty healthy dinner. And then we've got some salsa. We've got two things of stir fry vegetables. We have two cans of petite diced tomatoes um, for stuffed pepper soup. Some um, uh, sun-dried tomatoes for the Tuscan salmon. And then my husband picked up some coffee creamer. This is a new one that he hasn't tried yet, but it's coconut caramel. It sounds pretty good. We got some heavy whipping cream as well for the Tuscan salmon. Some sweet potato puffs to have on the side with black bean burgers. Some ranch, because we were pretty much out of that. Some light brown sugar. My husband loves this supremely spicy hummus, so he got some of that for himself. And then some salad mix that we're gonna actually have with dinner tonight. Some buns for the black bean burgers. And then three bags of Sun Chips. This is to bring for snack 
for my daughter's um, preschool. Uh, we have to bring sun chips and peach cups. <laughs> so, and uh, Costco used to sell the sun chips in little individual bags, but they don't carry those anymore. So I'm hoping this will be enough. I should be for 14 kids and two adults. Um, we shall see. And then we'll come over here. We picked up our fresh produce while we were there as well. So we're not gonna do grocery pickup this week, but um, we got some pears, some avocados, a cucumber, and some apples. So not a whole ton of produce was needed this week, but that's everything we got from Fry's. And the way we did it was we put uh, $24 of cash. That was the remaining cash we had in our grocery envelope um, towards the uh, groceries. And then we our total balance was $71.20. So we ended up putting $47.20 um, towards uh, like on the debit card, which that will come from our grocery pickup order or grocery pickup budget. And then we forgot avocados. So my husband used his personal money to get himself a little bit of beer. And then we put 606 um, on the debit card for the avocado. So I'll add that in as well. And then the household items ended up being 3602, but we are going to go and return the um, melatonin. So that will uh, take that off of there. So we'll have about $4 in household left. Our grocery budget is completely gone. And then we're about $53 into our grocery pickup budget and we budget 160 for the whole month. So we're looking um, pretty good. We're in really good shape so far. Um, we had planned on keeping our grocery budget a little lower um, for October, but you know, <laughs> we ended up getting a bunch of new little snacks to try and things like that. So um, I think it'll be good because it'll deter us a little bit more from eating out if we have some yummy things to eat at home. Um, and yeah, Costco had a bunch of like really fun new things to try, but we are all set to go now for the month. Um, now all we'll do is like each week, I'll pick up the produce we need from grocery pickup and that'll be it. So pretty awesome. It's a lot of hard work in the beginning, especially when you're 39 weeks pregnant <laughs> and do with a baby the next day. It is a lot of work, but it is so worth it because now we are all set for the month. We're all good to go. We don't have to worry about it. And yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure, <laughs> be sure to subscribe to catch all my future videos. And I will chat with y'all later. Bye.